In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the TV and the bracket. So to create an assembly, we click on New. Make sure we've got Metric selected. And then in the assembly area, you're looking for Standard MM. When you find that, click on Create. Now we're in an assembly uh, file type. What we're looking to do now is bring the TV you've created and the bracket into this workspace here. So to do that, we move to the top left hand corner and click on this place icon. What you'll then do is find the TV that you've modeled and then click on open. So that's, I'm gonna zoom out now so I can see where my TV is gonna go. But I'm gonna click somewhere, doesn't matter where, um, and that's put the TV in. Now if I keep moving the mouse about, you'll see that uh, I can then keep adding more TVs if I wanted to, and I don't want to. So to come out with that, I'm going to press the Escape button. So that's the button in the top left-hand corner of your keyboard. Now I want to add the TV bracket. So I'm going to click on Place again. And this time select the bracket and click Open. I'm going to place the bracket um, away from the TV to make it a bit easier to begin with. And again, I'm going to press Escape. So I've just got one bracket on the screen. Now I'm going to rotate this model. And if you remember to rotate a model, you press and hold the shift key. While doing that, press and hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse around. Now what I want to be able to see here is I want to be able to see the various faces of the TV bracket and the little cutout on the bottom of the TV that this bracket is going to fit into. Now, every single time you do an assembly, you've got to do lots and lots and lots of spinning the drawing round and zooming in to enable you to see the faces to select them. So the first thing to click on here is this button here called Constraint. So we're going to click there. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to make this first, this front face of the bracket line up with this face of the cutout on the TV. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this face of the bracket. Be sure to make sure you can see that green cross appear on the face. That will tell you you've selected the face and not just an edge. Now, once I've selected that face, what I'm then going to do is rotate the drawing around and zoom right in on this face here so I can easily select it. Now, be careful. I'm going to show you how to do it wrong first. So if I was wrong, I would only see this single green line on this edge. I need to be able to see this green box around this face and the green cross going across this face. So once I can see that, I'm going to click there and I'm going to zoom out to check that's OK. So I'm going to take that and say, OK, well, that's exactly in the place I need it to be. Because it's in the place I need it to be, I'm going to click on Apply. Um, now, at this stage here, folks, I'm going to get to click Cancel. And then if you click the left mouse button and hold it down while moving the mouse, we're going to move this TV uh, out the road. And we're going to do that in order to make the next bit a bit easier. So now I would like to fit the TV onto this by um, selecting this top face of the bracket and the inside face of the TV. So I'm going to click on Constraint. I'm going to zoom into the bracket so I can see that top face nice and easily and select it. Then zoom out again and rotate the view. I'm going to have to pan it down so that panning it is to click and hold the middle mouse button while moving the mouse. And then zooming in on this face here. So again, we can see the green cross. We're going to click there. We're going to zoom out and spin it around so and check that's OK. That's fine there. So I'm going to click on Apply. And again, here I'm going to click on Cancel because I'm going to want to drag this out the road so I can do the final stage of this. So again, I'm going to left click on the TV, drag it along. And this time, I need to constrain this side of the bracket to the inside side of this cutout on the TV. 
So to do that, I'm going to click on constraint, zoom in to that TV bracket side so it's nice and easy to select, zoom out again, rotate the view around so I can see inside the cutout, and select that face. Again, zooming out, check everything's fine, it's great. So I'm going to click on apply and then cancel. Okay, the final stage of this is saving it. So I'm going to move from the mouse to the top left hand corner to the file, select save as. You will need to select your technical folder from the drop down here. So first of all, look for the folder called ANAH home drive. When you find that, double click your technical folder. Call this file assembled TV and bracket and then save this into your technical folder by selecting the save button here. If you don't know how to save your work into your technical folder, ask your teacher for help.